What's going on, everybody? Your friendly neighborhood Andy Man is back yet again for a little uh, tutorial on how to use those badges to the most of their potential. So, first things first, you gotta make sure you're able to get a badge. So you have to get one of these, the scavenger, so that allows you to get components. Then you get the craftsman building. After you build that, you're able to craft badges, and uh, you've seen me do that. Yes, you have. Oh, first things first. Uh, uh, sorry, technical difficulties. So, well, after you use these, you got to fill this up, and you've seen me do those badges in many other videos. So, we don't need to do that today. But what we do need to show you today is how to use those badges properly. So, you have to remember three things when you're thinking about giving somebody a badge. The first thing you need to think about, you know, the overall thing you need to think about is the team that they're going to be on. So the team they're going to be on consists of a class or a hero. So the buff to the badge itself can have a buff to a hero. Like this one up here is for Glenn. This one up here is for Gabriel. You know, Rosita. So you can, you can put them together but uh, I have this one set up to go for the second thing you should always look out for. So the second thing you should always look out for is the trait. So like right here, you have the iron skin trait and iron skin trait down here. So they are going to get a buff, a 2% buff just for having that trait. So when you're placing those badges, you got to make sure that they have those buffs. So you're getting the most out of your badges your hard, hard earned badges. So after you got, so another thing you have to keep in mind is the class that they're gonna be with. So we are going to look at Mandy right here. So Mandy is set up in such a way where Hunter, 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 uh, Mage, a Hunter, and down here there's a Scout, but we don't get, we don't care about that. But <laughs> that's just a you know to get to complete the badge set so in case you don't know what a badge set is a badge set is this little see the glowing right here that badge set is because you have at least four at least four of the same like circle or like down here these badge sets down here hopefully I'm pointing at them like the different shapes down here so she is set up to be good with a hunter so if she's with a hunter she's gonna get all those buffs so I know that I'm going to put those guys with Abraham. And Abraham is always going to be the leader because he gets the bitch nuts. See, all hun assault hunters and shooters have 8% more health and 30% more damage. So I'm going to set him up with people who... Uh, I'm going to set his badges up so that he will be good with those types of people. So right over here, uh, a hunter and a shooter over here. So he, and also you gotta set up the damage. So if you want him to, if you want a assault to actually do damage, you have to really buff him up. That's why I have a 13% and a 15%. And down here, I don't know if you can see it, that's plus 410 down there. Plus 410. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's how we get his damage up to uh, being where it is right there. But when he, he is the leader, it's over 5100. So that's always a plus. So now, learning all those three things, we're gonna put that to work with where is she with miss tara over here so first things first we have to notice that oh it's highlighted thank you so much so it's highlighted right here vigilant so she has vigilant so we're going to try to find badges that have vigilant and that they are in the same badge set and hopefully coincide with other badges for her team that we want to set it up so she's a shooter so i might want to use her eventually to be with an assault, aka bitch nuts, aka Abraham. So with Abraham, you always we're gonna have to see what she has. And I already I already pre know this, so I'm not gonna be scrolling through and trying to find everything. I know I know what we're I know what we're looking for here. So we're looking for vigilant. Boom, right here. She has vigilant, and it is a spiky shape. So yep, we will equip that. Boom. 
And now we'll go around the horn, as it were. And there is another one up here for her. See? Has an assault as a teammate. Abraham is assault. So you always got to keep in mind the class and the hero. And the class is obviously better because it covers... Because a hero is obviously only one person, but a class covers many, many, many people. So put that on there. Yes. Go down here. Find the next one. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, assault as a teammate. There we go. Give her that. And as we scroll down, we find yet again a vigilant. Oh, vigilant. There we go. Oh, oh it'll be over here. There it is. Vigilant again with the same move set, and that will complete the badge set. And boom, now just got a 25% buff, or a 20% buff. You guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But oh, there we go. So now she is set up to be a very good partner for an assault, and she already has the buff of 2% health and, oh, 4% health down there too. So she got a lot more health just from Asania because she has the Vigilant trait. So I just want to make sure you guys keep that in mind. Oh, and one other thing, just because you gave him a badge doesn't mean you can't take it away. So right down here, we have... Mm, that's a little low for me. So we're going to see if we have a circle badge that will give her a better buff, hopefully with a hunter or a assault, or Abraham, obviously. So we... Oh, here's one. So we have one that is 5% health, but only plus one percentage. So what else do we have? Oh, right there. That is even better. It, we don't don't necessarily, especially when you're looking at the needs, I think we want to do more damage with her. So we're going to put that. And do we want to replace the badge? We can either unequip it for 15 gold, or we can scrap it. And let's see what happens when we scrap it, because this one's okay. It's a level one. I don't really need it. So let's get rid of that and see what happens. Oh, I get some XP. I will gladly take that XP. Thank you very much. All right, and there we go. Now she does... E <laughs> Dang! She does 58, almost 5,900 damage. That is some serious damage right there. So, guys, in summation, we got to remember three things when you are placing your badges. N number one. You're going to need to know the class. Number two, you got to keep in mind the hero. And number three, you got to keep in mind what traits they have. And you want to get the most out of your badges when you align at least two or three, at least two of those criteria on every single one of your guys and keep, a, and keep in mind what team they're going to be on. And you, my friend, can crush stars just like me, and watch Tower 13. I will catch you on the next one. Late.